Hi there! Today I'm going to experiment with an epoxy resin and create an epoxy resin wall art of a meditating person with chakra points. I resurfaced my countertop with resin and I love the results. Apparently I do like these colors a lot. Also painted this wooden table and it looks great. I love working with resin, results are so impressive but I haven't really done art with it. Stay till the end to see my experimental art project and how I created this resin wall art meditating person. I have my old sample board here that I tested colors on. I'm going to use this as a base. First I need to sand the surface, there are some bumps and residues. It's a 12 by 24 MDF board. I tried to draw the person's figure with a red marker. It's really hard to see. I will do my best to follow the lines. I'll be using silicone to create a wall along the lines. Resin won't stick to silicone. So it's perfect to create boundaries for resin pour. I drew the figure freehand, that was my rookie mistake, I just didn't know how at that time and it resulted in an asymmetric person. If I do something like this again, I would do it on a paper, get it perfect, then cut out the paper as a template and lay it over the board and just draw along the edges. Well, definitely lesson learned. And my figure had to be more elongated than the original close enough. My board is rectangular so that had to be that way so it's not a mistake. I especially did it that way. Now I'm using water and dish soap solution to shape the silicone. With this solution uh, silicone won't stick to your hands. This step is important to give a nice shape to silicone, make it smooth. Just one layer of silicone won't be enough. I'm going to put second or even third layer of uh, silicone to make the wall a little higher so I can pour enough resin to give the thickness and depth to the figure. Here is the picture of my inspiration. I don't think I can get those chakra points shine up like that. I don't know how. If you have any suggestions, please feel free to drop me a comment. I can always go back and re rework the piece. Seems like two layers of silicone would be enough for me. I'm gonna have to go ahead and uh, shape the edges again with the same solution. I have about quarter inches of thickness here. So I'm gonna let this dry. After a few hours passed, I came back and I'm uh, putting it on water test. I have to do this, otherwise when I pour resin, if there is a leak, it will be a disaster. So this is an important step. And looks like nothing is leaking, it's perfect. You need to raise your piece if you are pouring resin all over the uh, project. I'm using my painter's uh, stand here, so that way it won't stick to my table. I'm going to be using these colorful rocks as chakra points and glue them with my glue gun. And the colors would be reference to this picture. It starts with red, then orange, then yellow, and green, blue, purple and pink in this picture so I'm just gonna follow those but I'm going to add one more layer to this in the picture there are seven points I'm going to add the eight point top of the figure symbolizing the higher chakras I'm going to switch this yellow with this one it's much bigger and impressive now I'm just going to glue them down so when I pour resin they don't uh, start floating around. That's why you need to, uh, if you're putting anything in the resin, you make sure to secure them down firmly. Oh, 
on top right here I'm gonna put bunch of glass crystals so they shine this white glue will uh, dry to clear I already prepare my resin 50% resin 50% hardener and mixed it really well for a couple of minutes now I'm going to pour these into the small containers that I already put some colorful powders and I'm going to give you all those uh, materials a list of materials in the description below if you are curious or you wanna use them so I am mixing them really well each I have like I don't know seven different colors here and I'm gonna mix them really well with my resin and please don't forget to hit the like button for me if you get any value out of this video now I'm pouring clear resin first then I'm gonna start adding my colors it at this point I don't really have a plan all I do is now get the colors in and mix them to create like a like a colorful universe maybe like this I don't know we'll see I think this is becoming a little bit more colorful than I was planning to. Let me finish it first and then decide what to do. I didn't mean to be this colorful. We'll see. Now I need to pop the bubbles before anything else. I'm using my heat gun to pop them. They form uh, on the surface of epoxy and you need to pop them and heat does that you might have to run a couple of times because you don't get them all at once here it is and it is a little bit too colorful I need to tone this down I think I'm going to pour some resin with a little bit tint in it to tone it down yellow is too strong and yeah it's just too colorful for my taste I'm gonna have to uh, do something about it I let it dry for 24 hours it's dry now and I made my resin again so I'm going to add this color blue color spray paint into the resin to dye it a little bit plastic bag is to contain the fumes coming out of the spray paint Otherwise, the whole room smells so bad, I, I can't handle it. But this definitely helps. So I pump a couple of times and not enough. I pump some more. Looks like a good color. Let's see. Yeah, it is toning it down. I think this looks nice. The yellow is not as uh, yellow anymore. Yeah, it's actually yellow is not yellow anymore. I don't see yellow, but uh, it's okay. I think I do like it. I do like the way it looks. Now I'll be good. I kind of feel like I want to put two layers, I mean two tones of blue, make the bottom part darker than top, just for an interest. I'll try that. I'm going to save my leftover resin and dye it with a different blue this is a translucent blue it's supposed to show through but uh, I think it's a little bit too dark I'm not sure if I did the right thing we'll see now it looks dark to me I meant like little darker not oh this is dark this is much darker than planned now it's covering everything I don't even see the colors underneath okay so this didn't work out my plan was to tone it down the colors and now I don't even see the colors hmm now I have to make a decision 
Well, the problem is I don't have any more resin left. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and just do it. It's too late now and I'm just gonna use the resin and do it. Maybe I can improve it once I, it's dry. I might uh, put some, I don't know, some edging or something. I'm not sure. Okay, so I covered all those beautiful colors. They're gone. Too late. Maybe this will be better. We'll see. So I'm gonna pop the bubbles again and then let it dry. Next morning, my ink blue person was dry. What do you think guys, this or the colorful version of it? Or totally nah? Well, at least silicone is separating from the epoxy, but not from the board for some reason. It's sticking to the board, even though that's epoxy as well. Look at these colors, these are nice. It looks nice like this here. I should have left the whole thing like that. Anyways, now I'm gonna remove the silicone and it did stick to the board. I think because I sanded it, it uh, I wonder if that's the reason. But um, it's coming off. Once I remove all the silicone, I have to sand down the edges. There are some sharp uh, corners, edges. I actually cut my finger. So I'm going to do that. Next step is to pour a clear coat of resin on a board to bring its shine back. I pour the clear coat and it's dry now. Now I'm going to add this metallic luster around the figure to make it pop a little bit. Now, right now it blends in with the board. So hopefully this will help to give it a little bit of a depth and definition. Here it is. I need to make those rocks shine. If I find a way, I will revisit this art piece. So some of the rocks disappeared under the epoxy. They were thinner than the others. Some are sticking out, which I like. And so it's about a quarter of an inch thickness, the epoxy. Thank you for watching my experimental artwork. This was fun. I usually do home improvements, but every once in a while I can do stuff like this to use on my wall makeovers. That will be fun. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.